Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if a service does not start error is occurred and you might be coming across event IDs with the numbers 7000, 7011, 7009, etc. on your Windows computer and it more than likely says that a timeout was reached so we're going to go about resolving this problem without too much of a hassle here and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the star menu type in regedit it's r-e-g-e-d-i-t best manager come back a registry editor you want to go right click on that and then select run as administrator if you receive a user account control prompt select yes now before you proceed in the registry I would suggest you create a backup of it so if anything went wrong you could easily restore it back in order to create the backup it's very simple just go ahead and select the file tab and then export for file name I would suggest naming it the date in which you are making the backup export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer and if you ever need to import it back in you just would select file and then import and navigate to the file location so again pretty self-explanatory and now we're ready to begin so we're going to double click on the HQ local machine folder to expand that do the same thing for the system folder same thing for current control set and then finally there should be a control folder listed under here so just left click on that one time now on the right side we can make this column a little bit wider and you want to locate something that says services pipe timeout so if you do not see a D word value with that name you want to go create it so we're going to go right click in a blank area select new and then D word 32 bit value we want to name this services pipe timeout all one word the S in services the P in pipe and the T in timeout should all be capitalized everything else lowercase no spaces in here hit enter on your keyboard now you want to double click on it set the base to decimal and now you want to enter in a value into this value data field which would be the number 60,000 so 6 0 0 0 0 so it should just be four zeros after that six and then you want to select OK I would suggest closing out of the registry editor now restart your computer and that should be about it so as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.